some real significant stuff happened in the 1900s. First, there was another pair of British archaeologists who went to a city called Oxyrhynchus. Say that. <laughs> Oxyrhynchus, yeah. Egypt, it was in the Fayum. And they, too, were looking for ancient manuscripts. Uh, they searched churches. They searched tombs. They searched everywhere and could find nothing. And then, about when they were ready to leave, Grenfell looked at this big pile of dirt and said to Hunt, why don't we dig there? Let's see if there's anything there. So they started digging, and there was about 15 of these big piles. And as they dug and they went down, they found 5th century manuscripts, 4th century manuscripts, 3rd century manuscripts, 2nd century manuscripts, 1st century manuscripts. The Egyptians never liked to burn used stuff. They threw it away and buried it. So on the second day of the dig, they found a copy of the Gospel of Matthew. And then they found all, to date they have, they found about 10,000 manuscripts. 5,000 of them have been published so far. There's another 5,000 to go. Uh, they, they all went to the Ashmolean Museum in Oxford, and I've, I've been there, and I've studied the manuscripts. I know the guy there real well. We correspond a lot, and it's really cool. When you go there, they don't have quite enough room or proper storage space. So I said, I want to see P. Oxyrhynchus 287 or whatever. And he'd go over to a drawer, bring it out. It's folded up in a London Times 1910. <laughs> he, he would open up the manuscript, and then I could study it. Then he put it, then he put it back again. So... Lots of things happened with the, with the Oxyrhynchus manuscripts. Then, a couple other archaeologists decided, let's do Christian grave sites next to churches and see if we can find anything. And what they did is they went to the Fayum and they found a tomb, and inside the tomb must have been of a monk or an abbot. There was a complete biblical library. 12 to 13 Greek complete books. 12 to 13 complete books. 10 from the Old Testament, 3 from the New Testament, all dated around the 2nd or maybe at the latest 3rd century. A guy in Dublin bought them. He was a philologist and a philanthropist named Chester Beatty. He bought half of them, and then the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor bought the other half. And I've been to see the manuscripts in Ann Arbor, I think, three times. It's cool. They let you go into a room, and then they bring it out to you sheet by sheet. But they don't have it in the London Times. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't mounted properly. Uh, and, you know, that was a phenomenal discovery because all of Paul's epistles, um, all of the Gospels and Acts, the book of Revelation, they're in 2nd and 3rd century manuscripts, pretty well affirming Codex Vaticanus and Codex Sinaiticus.